Hey everybody, it's your girl Jelana Cole and I'm back here for another video. Okay, so today's video is going to be my end of the summer faves. I have several different categories, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So let's start with home or body, like things like that. I want to start with those things. Because you know, you got to have a good smelling house, car, like if you like to smell good, awesome. But if you like everywhere you go to smell good, even all summer, rah, rah, okay? And these products are from Scentsy. Uh, I get them from my mother. My mother is a Scentsy representative. So if you guys would like to order some products, the link is down below. So uh, right now for my home, my favorite house spray right now is the Odor Out. It's called Scentsy Fresh Odor Out. I know my light's kind of throwing it off where you can't really see the whole thing. But this is all it is. And this to me is better than Febreze. It's stronger and it lasts longer. I spray it on my carpets um, before or after I vacuum. It depends on when I remember to um, bring it downstairs. I'll say I done vacuumed already, then I'll come spray it afterwards. But if I'm upstairs, I'll spray it beforehand. Um, but yes, it smells. This is almost like a linen smell. So it has a very clean, crisp, fresh type of smell. So if you like stuff like that, you'll love this. How many ounces is it? 16 ounces. So it's going to last you a good little while. Give me one second. Let me adjust my lighting. Okay. So my second house product is wax, um, a wax bar for my wax warmers. This right here. And it is a vanilla suede. I also have this vanilla suede spray in our car. It is the bee's knees. Like it makes, it's, it's a very masculine smell. And for my car, I really like that because it, it does eliminate odors and you know you got kids who have food and you know sometimes your car get damp like maybe from you know wet tennis shoes and stuff and this smell to me helps get rid of all of that um and you don't smell it and then and, and you know it's masculine so if you like to smell you know me and cologne and stuff like that like I do then you'll like this so this one here and it's a little just a little wax bar and two of them are gone now because there actually is one you can't see it um my warmer behind me has two of the wax cubes in there so those are my two household fragrance items and now I'm going to get into my I think that's all my household yeah that's all my household things and now I'm going to get into my body like hygiene faves of course any self-respecting person takes care of their armpit aromas okay and so with that being said right now all summer I've been using my secret clear gel and this is the scent expression in ooh la la lavender i did not really know it was lavender i didn't even read it i just picked it up smelled it and i was like this is me and uh like always i gravitate towards lavender shoot me no really don't but just saying i always gravitate towards lavender fragrances whether it's from my home my body my uh aromatherapy type stuff always got lavender in them so i'm just gonna stop trying to fight it and just go with it this is it right here and I am basically empty on this. So I got a new one and it's the orange one. I don't know what the fragrance is on that one. But I just really like this formula because I tend to put on my clothes and then put my deodorant on. And I, I remember that, you know what, why don't you try the clear gel so you can stop getting deodorant on your clothes. Because I'll just get it on my clothes and then just wipe it off with a rag. But I kind of got tired of that. So definitely a, um, a lifesaver. Okay. So that goes for my underarm aromas and then for my body lotion i my sister was getting ready to travel and she was like i can't take this so you know what you can have this because she got it on sale so it was not it's not only my my favorite fragrance but it was free man uh, and body works i love you um this is the tokyo lotus and apple blossom it has shea and vitamin e but when i tell you baby like i will have Oh, I just put my whole nose in it. Like when I tell you, my husband be like, mm, "You smell good." I'm like, "I know, thank you." Cause I put it on as soon as I get out the shower. Without as soon as I get out the shower, like I let my body dry off a little bit. Cause I don't like being like damp when I put lotion on. Cause then I become ashy like five minutes later. So I wait for my body to dry, almost like ninety percent. Then I put my lotion on. And the fragrance lasts me all through the night. So my bed be smelling good. Cause I be, I be in my bed you know sleeping and rubbing my smell on it so that way when i get up before him he can smell me like i'm still here 
y'all better get here okay so my other two body fragrances that i'm in love with right now are these two here these are victoria's secret fragrances this one is oh so sexy and this one is in scan and this one's my favorite presentation wise because I love the little puffer. Psst, psst. And then I, this one's my second favorite. I mean, I love it too, but it's got this little bow thing. You know, the situation happened here. So, um, they both have a, I can't tell you the notes right now because I just can't. Like, it's not on my brain to give the notes that are in these. Maybe if I remember, I'll put it in the description bar below. That way you can get a gist of what it, what it has in it, you know? what the what the smell may smell like because if you're a perfume wearing you know perfume notes then you tend to know what you like if you like ambers and jasmines and, and things like that so you, you you can figure that out my last body product boom you gotta keep your feet moisturized ladies it's summertime we can't have no calluses no dry feet no flaky feet so this right here heel to toe what is it feels like new foot softener it is a squeezy tube because I they have a jar one. I use that one in the winter because it's a little thicker than this one. This one is more malleable. Like it, once you put it in your hand, it warms up and you can, you know, rub your feet generously without using too much. And you're moisturized all day. I normally use this after I shower again. Dry my feet off, let them dry just a tad. I kind of the the one thing I do right when I get out, I do lotion my feet. I may wait to lotion my body, but I will lotion my feet. I don't do dry feet and dry hands. That is something that bothers me. Now, my legs may be ashy, but my feet and my hands will be completely moisturized and baby soft and young looking all my life, okay? Um, this was like $7, I think. And this is what, like two months? Is this two months? Like a month and a half, two months, and I'm just about done, and I'm, I'm struggling with this last bit. So I have to go get another one. Actually, I just may go and get my jar because my jar was, I don't have none in my jar either. So, yes, body and hygiene-wise. And so, with that, I'm going to include my skincare. I'll link my video so you guys can know, so you guys can see my favorite moisturizers for my face and everything. And with that said, I have added a product for my face. So, that's why I brought that up. And if you want to know all my other ones, all my other face products, I'll send you there. Um, but this is from... Oh, you can't smile. Emily, this is their Shine Skin Brightening Oil. I'm trying to figure out how I can... There we go. It's too far back. Yes. And it has a dropper. Ooh, I feel itchy. I just came from my side. Um, so this is their Brightening Face Oil. I tend to use it... I make sure I concentrate it here in my T-zone because those are where I have, you know... Uh, hyperpigmentation here here um a little under the lip here and, and then here but it's not too bad until i get breakouts but i use it in my i use it on my whole face but i concentrate it here and here um but it has pomegranate oil licorice bearberry and argan oil and i actually really love the fragrance of it it does have a licorice smell but because of the other fragrances and oils that are that are in here the licorice is not the most abundance smell and it smells let me see what I smell first I can't tell you because I don't know that smell but it smells good and it's I use this let me see so I'll wash my face and I use that oil and then I'll put my firming serum my um my evening serum that's in the this in the jar it's in the last video and I put that over top of it and when I tell you I am plump and just glowy like it, my skin looks so good so good so yeah yes i'll do a separate video on that um but when i do the next tutorial you'll see it in there because i put it on before i moisturize and then with my primer like it makes everything y'all better get with it okay so now let me get to makeup <clears throat> okay so the foundation that I have been wearing the most this summer, because one, color match, two, consistency and coverage, and three, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This Milani 2-in-1, when I tell you the Conceal and Perfect, 
I am a, a number 11 amber. I have it on today. And let me tell you, I even like it more than when I did the review because I found out why I kept getting crease lines with it. Don't set this powder, boo-boo. Don't set it. Set underneath the eye. I have to do that because I kind of have fine lines. They're very fine. But it can get bad and outrageous and disrespectful. But with that being said, I only set under here with a fine milled setting powder. I don't put any, I don't put no powder over this. And it lasts all day. I don't get my smile lines. Like I'm on hour two. I don't get the smile line crease as bad and when I tell you one day I wore it I was out and about I wore it for eight hours no crease line so that this is an amendment to my review for this stuff like oh, I love it even more so it it, it, it could be 10 like <laughs> 10 it's been a while since I had a foundation that is a 10 and because I don't have to use concealer with it the process of me getting ready especially if I'm in a hurry like that all I gotta do is do my brows just how I want them. Slap some shadow on mascara. This is what I did today. Throw my foundation on, blush it, and bronze it. But the foundation step goes so smoothly that I can do whatever I want. Whatever I want. Meal, <laughs> meal. On that glow today, like that real subtle, like natural, like I just, you know, no, I don't have any products on like, my skin does this like what do you mean I glow every day when I wake up I just glow no but it's not it's not natural it is this this four dollar beauty support beauty supply store find here it is it's so pretty. this is Ruby kisses all over glow and it is in light glow I'm going to get the other one that is a little bit more because this one has a a rose gold um tinge they have one that was more like real solid gold and then they had another one i don't remember what that one was like but four dollars i ain't mad at it i ain't mad at it i'm gonna glow my whole life away with this like four dollars okay and for my lips, when I tell y'all, I use this in almost two to three weeks. Like, it's empty. It's empty. Like, there's a little moisture at the end of this, but it's empty. It is the Milani's um, Lip Moisture, like the lip balms. What are they called? I'm gonna say, I'll insert the name here. I found it at Walgreens. They had a buy one, get one half off on all their lip products. And that's when I bought their um, um, lip their liquid lipsticks, that's when I bought a more. That red, that like, it pops. Do I have it in here? Is it in here? Mm -mm. Okay, I'm not gonna get sidetracked. No, I don't have it in here. But, and I and so I got the lipstick because I had been looking for it and then I was like, you know, let me try these. When I tell you these go great, like before I go to sleep, I put it on. When I wake up, I put it on. Before I do my makeup, I put it on. When I'm eating a sandwich and I get done, I put it on. When I drink my coffee and I'm done, I put it on. Like, I put it on all the time, everywhere. Here I go, there I go, everywhere I go with this. And when I tell you I used it so quickly, this is the almond and shea. I believe, I just remember almond mostly, because I'm telling you, I use it so much. I have no words. I have no words on it. It is number one. So in that lineup, they have all kinds of colors. I'm going back for the pink and the purple one. I want those two because I know one was rose hip and I think it was grape something. I don't know, but I'm going to get more. Surely. Like this one, I would give a stocking stuffers for my, my beauty lovers in my family for Christmas. Like I would buy all of them and just go, go down the stockings and just put them in there. I done shook the camera. She done shook the camera. Okay. Okay. Last beauty product. Y'all know I already, this right here, every day, every day, all day. Like, every time I'm lashing it without my, my fakes, I'm doing my voluminous million lashes, okay? Okay. We know this. We know this. So then when this was on sale, Miss Manga Voluminous, like, I got it on today. I can't really give you guys. 
see this. Can you see me? Yes, natural lash look. But the thing is, I only need like two coats of this. Let me see myself in a lip. Yeah. Anyway, I only need like two coats of that. And my lashes are just like, they start to curl up. It gives them, I kind of like it spidery, but I don't like spider lashes, but I kind of like it clumpy a little bit, I guess is the word. So it gives me exactly what I want for my lashes when I don't want to wear falsies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love the merch, thank you. Let me show you the merch. There. Little different, but it gets up under. It gets under all of that, all of that, all of that situation. Now, last but not least, the accessories that I've been rocking lately, they were sent to me, but I have been loving them. They are from Montana Silversmiths. They sent me three items. I asked for a ring, a necklace, and a bracelet. And so I got to choose my three items. And I love my choices. Okay, let me start with my necklace. There. It says Faith, and on the eye it has a teensy-weensy cubic. It's so cute, and it fits me so well, because first off, okay, let me show you my, my bracelet. This is what my mom got me right here. My mommy got me this bracelet and it says Faith and it just went perfectly. And I, I, what's funny is I been had this and then I picked this out and so I had this on and when I picked this, I was like, I got a matching set and I wasn't even trying. Thank you, Jesus. Faith, it'll get it every time. Okay, so this bracelet here is what I got from them as well. Cubic Sacronia, of course, and it's their bezel. Um, bezel, what is that word? design and to me it just it just goes with my whole mojo like you know this this is it this is how I roll and I'm not mad at that okay so you guys know my wedding ring okay I have my husband's ring on too because his his hands swell up sometimes so I have his ring on but here I am right there and boom I ordered another heart ring. I know it's called their it's their beaded heart ring, and I'm a size nine, y'all. I have really fat sausage fingers. I'm a little short. Slack, like I got pimp hands. Like these things, strong. Like, don't test me. It's really this way. I was being nice, but <laughs> my people who know what I'm talking about, my fam, the inside joke, they know. They know what I'm talking about. So, this is the ring, and I thought it would just even out my look. Like, and then God is love, and I have faith in my God. And so, like, my love and faith and all that is all represented on me. And I just thank you, Montana Silversmiths, for, you know, helping me show what I have on the inside, on the outside, okay? Thank you, guys. So, if anybody have any questions about these and you want to uh, know where, I, where you can order some, I have the link below, discount codes, all that information, all that sweet, sweet stuff for you guys is down there, okay? So if you guys have any questions about my faves or like where I got them from and all that stuff, I will try to have the links so you can go straight to those products. But if I do not, you know, hey, hey, where you get that necklace again? Put it down in the comment section and I will direct you to the answer. Okay, thank you guys for staying tuned. And if you have any questions, you know what to do. Love you. Bye.